Ghanaian fast rising comedian Razak Nuhu, popularly known as Ranzi, aka T Bread, has put up a great comedy show in Tama on August 24, 2024, and also serves as a pre birthday celebration. Razak Nuhu expressed his joy on his successful comedy show with overwhelming support from the family and friends across Ghana. It was a super show, he said. Razak Nuhu, in his engagement with the media, established that though his expectations were very high towards the show based on the investment that has gone into the preparation, in as much as some of the supports were not met, his mandate has been to always put his audience satisfaction first in any performance. Ranzi assured that the future is promising for all Ghanaian comedians most especially an upcoming comedian of his status, to have such patronage at his first show. Ghanaian comedy industry is growing and it can always get better, he said. He calls for Ghanaians to constantly support Ghana's comedy in order to continue to promote Ghana made to the world at large. Ranzi said the show was also used as to celebrate his birthday which comes on 25th august 2024 he promised his audience to look forward to nothing but the best of performance anytime he's given an opportunity i feel very 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 happy and proud of myself and proud of my car as well like it was a super duper show everybody in here said they really enjoyed the show and i enjoyed myself as well i was on stage and i could feel the crowd giving me that feedback and the energy was very very good and i'm happy i was able to pull this through i spent a lot but we are still growing in the industry and then i hope like with time we we'll get investors that will cut down on this investment for us but i did a lot of investment and because i don't like i'm not a known face so i didn't really get uh, sponsorship from anybody so it was everything on myself but then thank god i was able not to disappoint my audience but put through it's a good show with ghana comedy industry i feel is growing and it's, it can even get better with the support we are getting for me who is just a, a, a new guy in the, in the in the industry to organize a comedy show and get this number of people come to support me i think it's growing and people are beginning to understand the fact that it shouldn't always be a comedian from somewhere. We have very funny people in Ghana here that we can invest in and they can get better. So the best we can do for our people is to invest in them and believe in ourselves. Because if we believe in ourselves, just like you saw it in the people were really happy. And I think Ghana comedy is growing and all we need is investment and support. My birthday celebration, I didn't expect it. It was something I didn't expect. It just came out of the blue. Yeah, people decided to surprise me. And they gave me things that actually surprised me and i'm happy tomorrow is my birthday and then today i pulled up with a very good show and people came to celebrate with me celebrate my birthday and my performance with me at the same time i'm very 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 well i will tell my fans to expect something bigger and better hopefully this is the first step yeah we've taken the first step and then we we've seen the outcome so uh, i expect my fans to expect something bigger and better for me hopefully next year yeah, hopefully next year we'll do something bigger and better. Gracing the occasion was the legendary in Ghana comedy fraternity, Mr. Kwekusin Tim Misa, popularly known as KSM, said that Ranzi has put up an excellent performance which has made him master of his game. He urged all upcoming co Ghanaian comedians to continue to work harder by making use of technology to develop their capacity. 
a great, great, great show I saw today. I've seen him from way back. Obviously, he has now taken control of the stage. He is himself. He is a complete master of what he does on stage. And um, what can I say? The best is yet to come. But so far, it was excellent. Oh, practice, 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 practice. That's the only secret with comedy. Practice. You know, so the more they practice, the more they get used to their jokes, the more they're able to make their punchlines work and everything. But um, practice is the key thing. What do you guys are in the, what do you call it, this new age where everything is on Google. They can go and sit on YouTube and just type in how do you improve on stand-up comedy and they'll be amazed at the information that will drop. Everything is available now. So I just encourage them more to use the YouTube, go on Google, do research, and you'll be absolutely surprised how much information is out there. Tonight was a very wonderful, beautiful show. Uh, Ranzi exceeded all expectations. We know he's a great comedian, and today he has actually cemented, he has put that in concrete. Uh, yeah, we have one of the dopest comedians in Ghana right now. Uh, it was a sold out show, as we all saw, and he cracked the audience up for a full one hour, which is something that is not easy to do. Uh, it shows how far Ghana comedy has come. Ghanaians show up in the Anamens to support us and we also deliver on a promise. Uh, all we need now is support from corporate institutions. We've been crying for support. support. It's not easy to put up the shows. Most of these shows come from our own pockets. We sponsor ourselves. But if corporate uh, Ghana joins or comes on board, I believe they can also, we can mutually benefit from each other. Because it's business, we have the numbers, we have the audience, we have the shows and they can advertise to them as well. Just like uh, in other countries, you see how uh, they have huge support. In, let, me, let me just cite Nigeria. They have huge support for comics and people who are in entertainment. And I think Ghana is about time where we also get that support because we are actually doing the work and we are doing a lot. If they come on board, I'm sure it will just uplift Ghana comedy to the world and beyond.
find a cure. Was that for you? Young man, what is wrong with you? See, I'm looking for a guy here. He's got. He said, "There's no body in this house." So no, he's got. He said, "I said, there's no body in this house." Got it. So we were going back and forth, back and forth. And now, finally, the guy said, "Um, okay, I'll go." But then he came to perform at my show, and I'm supposed to pay him for his performance. That's where the money got power. <laughs> For about 10 seconds, my father was quiet. He said, young man, how much are we talking about here? <laughs> he said, 5,000. My father did not know he shouted my name. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching Nation One TV. Kindly subscribe for more news updates.